Welcome back to Pittsburgh Living. I'm your host, Shelley Duffy. And right now, let's welcome Dr. Nicole Schott from Swift Audiology. Welcome to the show today. Thank you for having me. One of the big things that people have to deal with is tinnitus. Tell us what that is and how you're working on that. Yes, so tinnitus is when someone hears a sound um, in their ears that's not actually in the environment. This is why it's often called ringing in your ears. But we know that some people can hear buzzing, whooshing, humming, so it's really dependent on the individual. And how susceptible are people to this? And is there a group perhaps that is more susceptible than another? Yes, yeah, so tinnitus can really happen at any point in the lifespan. But we know that tinnitus is a symptom, not a disease in itself. Um, so it's related to about 200 different medical conditions, but the strongest correlation is between damage to the ear and the auditory system. So patients who would be most susceptible would be those who have worked in noisy environments, um, senior citizens, or um, musicians. And what else could cause it? I mean, obviously those would make sense. Is there anything else that could be a problem? Yeah, some common causes would be um, traumatic brain injuries, concussions, um, stress. That, that's one of the key factors. We have so much stress in our life and, and our body's trying to, to relieve or release that stress. Yeah, stress is an amazing thing in the way it can manifest itself. It really is kind of frightening. So how do you measure tinnitus? Yeah, so until recently, there wasn't a gold standard or universal way of measuring tinnitus. Um, but Swift Audiology is actually the first practice in the greater Pittsburgh area to have incorporated now a tinometer into our practice. So when you come, it's basically a three-step process. First, we have you fill out a questionnaire, helping us assess how this impacts you personally. Then we do a comprehensive hearing evaluation, and last we do a tinnitus evaluation. This allows us to identify the pitch, kind of like keys on a keyboard, so low like a foghorn, high like a bird's whistle, how loud it's actually presenting in your brain, and then can it be masked out by another white noise? So how do you do that then? How do you take all that away after you do all the evaluations? So we actually take it away by adding something, if that makes sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but of course it makes perfect sense. Yeah. So we know that sound generators, or if your brain has good auditory stimulation, it actually covers the ringing in your ears. So we have hearing aids that can work both as a hearing aid and a sound generator. So we present pleasant sounds similar to ocean noise, um, white noise, really anything that the person finds pleasant, and it will cover the um, ringing in their ears. But is that a constant sound that they have then to mask the ringing and isn't that distracting? How does that work? So what happens, hearing aids are very intelligent now. Um, so if you're having a conversation, most people report that they don't actually hear the ringing in their ears because they're focused on something else. So the masker turns down. As soon as it notices that there are no other sounds in the environment, it comes on to cover the ringing that's in your ears. That is just wonderful. So people don't have to live with this then. No, unfortunately, so many people have been told that because there's no proven cure, that you have to live with it. But we know that over 60% of people with tinnitus do very well with sound generators, and over 20% report that they no longer have tinnitus once they're using these devices. That is amazing. And what other devices, obviously, of hearing aids, anything else that uh, viewers would like to know about? Yeah, some other recommendations. Um, the number one is to avoid silence. So sleep with either a fan running, a television, some kind of white noise, because it gives your brain something to focus on. Um, the other thing is monitor your diet. We know that caffeine, alcohol, tobacco, and salt can make ringing worse and reduce your stress. So um, find something that you really enjoy. Good luck with that, <laughs> that stress thing. And why should they choose Swift Audiology over anyone else? The main reason is because we provide personalized care and we really take the time to get to know you, to understand what you're experiencing. We know that a hearing aid or a sound generator isn't a one size fits all. This isn't something you can just go buy at a store. Um, you come back and we continue to adapt it to your lifestyle and your needs. Um, and we're a family owned and operated business and we've been open for almost 30 years. And just, we have about 30 seconds or so. What would, what would you like viewers to know specifically about their ear health, I guess, would be a good thing. Yeah, if, if you're sitting and watching and you've had a physical this year, if you've had your teeth cleaned, if you've had your eyes checked, but you haven't had a hearing test, what are you waiting for? Our hearing tests are always complimentary, um, so there's no charge to you, and there's no obligation to do anything should we find you have a hearing loss. All right, don't keep turning up the television and don't keep going, ha, huh? because I know that that's what you should be doing is getting a test instead. Thank you so much, Dr. Shot. If you would like to know more about Swift Dog, 
Audiology. Just visit swiftaudiology.com for the phone numbers of a location near you. Up next, we'll talk to Jimmy St. Louis of the Lung Institute. It's all coming up when Pittsburgh Living continues.